My father and I like to talk a lot, and being into chemistry, the topic of chemistry pops up a bunch. When we'd talk, my dad would often say, I don't get why water is a liquid, but hydrogen and oxygen are gases. To this, I had a simple answer. It's due to a phenomenon known as hydrogen bonding. For my dad, who has a job in economics, this meant nothing to him. I might as well have been speaking Japanese. So, this video is for you, Dad. There are two major points in this video. Why are gases gases and liquids liquids at room temperature? And where does water fit in here? From most chemists' perspective, there are two main forces acting against each other to determine what physical state the chemical is in. Thermal energy and intermolecular forces. Thermal energy is the movement of molecules and atoms that we humans perceive as heat. At a certain pressure, any compound that doesn't break down will go through the three phases of matter as you heat the compound from absolute zero, or the point of no heat or no movement. At higher temperatures, everything exists as a gas. As you start to cool the gas, it condenses and forms a liquid. And finally, if you continue cooling it, you get a solid. The biggest decider in what temperature these changes happen at is the intermolecular forces present between the molecules or atoms. Intermolecular forces are basically how a molecule or particle interacts with any other surrounding molecules or particles. The intermolecular force that applies most to water is known as a dipole moment. This dipole moment causes the molecule to behave like an incredibly tiny magnet where positive attracts negative and negative attracts positive. The dipole comes from the different elements in the molecule pulling on electrons with different strengths making a positive and negative area within that molecule. This pull is known as electronegativity, which is one of the most important forces in chemistry. So if you have two atoms of the same element, like hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, they'll pull on the electrons with the same amount of force, resulting in no positive and no negative area, making a weak intermolecular force. And most of all, no dipole moment. However, in the case of water, oxygen pulls much stronger than hydrogen, so you get a molecule that is like two bar magnets glued together at the negative end with an angle. This causes them to group together because of the extremely strong intermolecular force. So why is water a liquid but hydrogen and oxygen gases? Hydrogen and oxygen would like to race around by itself as a gas, but because water has such strong dipole moment, it would rather group itself together as a liquid. Want to know more? Check out the comments for further reading and sources. Also, check back for new videos, and thanks for watching.